Welcome to a quick tutorial on creating a project in TechBlock Chorus. We're going to load results from an existing CSV file. This tutorial will take about three minutes and is intended to illustrate some of the core capabilities in TechBlock Chorus. One of the things we're seeing in the industry is a march towards more complex solutions in addition to looking at multiple solutions. What we have in terms of a solution is based on the concept of simulation analytics, which is the union of visualization, data management, statistics to evaluate systems of solutions, whether they be test data or simulation data. In order to illustrate how to create a project, we'll go ahead and use TechBlock Chorus. This is TechBlock Chorus DE 2013 R1. We're going to quickly specify a, a project file and we're going to point to a CSV file. And this CSV file contains information about the cases that were run in the system. The system we're going to evaluate is in fact a blade turbine optimization study. This was a vertical axis wind turbine. And the data we actually aggregated into a CSV file. That CSV file includes information about the system performance. It also includes information about links to the files where the data were integrated from. And I'll just quickly name this the 2D field data. So once we've actually linked the files, we just specify the nature of the variables in question. Uh, the variables in question in this case are blade generation time. So if we evaluate any one of the cases that we brought in, you can see that it includes the 2D field data. That data is linked to our physics visualization application, TechPlot360. Uh, although it's not a necessity, certainly if you have access to field data, you can access that data or evaluate that data in 360. Once we've actually confirmed that we have the data available, we can evaluate system performance. We're going to evaluate each blade generation, and we'll look at the total pressure on the, the three-blade system as a function of time and generation. And you can see that uh, some generations uh, perform better than others. We can evaluate that more quantitatively by looking at a line plot of each of the cases. So we're going to evaluate all cases as a function of time and generation. Uh, and we'll look at the total pressure. And you can see now that the blue blade configuration has the, uh, the best overall system performance. Now in addition to looking at just simple integrated quantities and other descriptors. We can also evaluate physical behavior of the system by interrogating those results and creating via batch process images we can use to evaluate system performance. So we're going to launch a quick job to create images we can populate in our system. Once those system images are available, we can deposit them into our project. Those project assets will be managed by TechBlock Chorus. And you can see now we can take a look at each generation of the blade and how it performs as a function of, in this case, I think we're looking at generation versus uh, time step. And we have a lot of time steps. We're not going to look at all of them. So in just a few minutes, we went from a CSV file to a project where we can evaluate the performance of the system and interrogate which of the generations give us the best overall performance and perhaps tie it back to the physics.